Up next on the airflow and suction box, this Pretty Care W100. And I think we can do four tests. We have a high and low speed, and I believe I can take the one internal pre-motor filter out. So we're going to start out with all filters in, low speed. I'll call it at about 20.3 CFM. And I'll call it at 28.3 CFM on high. That's actually pretty good. Remember, this is a budget stick vac. Now I need to take the filter out. Now I have the only filter out that I can actually take out. As a reminder, don't run your machines with the filters out. So let's try this on low speed. Okay, only, only a tiny improvement. Okay, what that means is this filter in its current condition, which is you know, pretty much new, is not dragging down the airflow for this particular nozzle. Now you know why I had to start out on high speed. While there is no specified exhaust filtration for this machine, all the exhaust comes from these little openings on the top of the machine itself. Okay, if you're unfamiliar with this test, if you look at the little vertical white bar, it is clearly in the green. As a matter of fact, it's fairly far left in the green. So even though these aren't all zeros, that's still an acceptable result. Getting the brush roll RPM on this aluminum-based brush roll is going to be a little sketchy. I took a Sharpie and went ahead and, as you can see here, filled in some of the spaces with black so it didn't reflect. So let's try it and see what happens. Okay, it says we have a lock. Oh, now I think we just lost it. All right, a little more than 2,400. And it says we have a lock. 
and a little more than a little more than 2300 on high.